guys! I've recently finished a couple of Traveller's Notebooks, so I thought I would walk through one here with you guys, and then I'm going to do the other one over on my Patreon page. But for now, let's have a look through here. I think this one, um, this is the one I finished most recently. So you can see here I started on the 11th of February and finished on the 21st of June. Um, Despite how it looks, this is a pocket page notebook and I literally just ripped the couple cover off and stapled on a piece of pattern paper. So totally easy to customize these pocket page notebooks um, to suit yourself. I loved this pattern paper and it was nice having something other than the craft paper sitting on my desk for a while. So same with this page. Normally I'm just stamping dates in there but um, I had a few little bits of sort of ephemera floating around on my desk so I decided to stick them in and make a little cluster for something a bit different. Plus it kind of saves me um, Sometimes when I stamp these dates on here, it does show through to the first page. And this one um, doesn't have anything on the first page, so it would have shown through. So this was a nice little save for that. So this first spread in here was all the way back from the start of February. That shows how just how long it takes me to fill up one of these notebooks. Um, and this was the page that I did to celebrate reaching 8,000 here on YouTube with the free printable kit. So... Um, that link's still there, so if you didn't grab the printable kit um, at the time, head back uh, to the video from February and grab one for yourself. Um, I just used my Fuse tool here to create the two 3x4 pockets, which I really love. I love the size difference and being able to see this back page um, underneath the pocket. So apart from that, it was a super, super easy page. You'll probably hear me say that... Um, multiple times in this video because really all of my pages are super simple but um this one is bright and colorful and I love these kind of like interactive little details to it. This page uh, was a page that I did using some digital stamps from Kelly Stamps um, and this super shiny and gold uh, was a digital stamp that I pulled into my silhouette software and I cut that onto some gold vinyl and put that into the book um, and I love it it's so pretty <laughs> so pretty and shiny um, and a really easy way to get that kind of gold foily look in a notebook is to use digital stamps and gold foil so the rest of the page is just a full page photo, which I did add these digital stamps to before I printed it out. And then the little gold stickers um, are just added on top of that. These stripy bits are just washi tape, uh, but the washi tape on this side I added to some, just some plain white paper first and trimmed that out so that it would be completely opaque the same color as this if I just put the washi tape on top of the photo because the photo's got a dark background it would have changed the color of the washi tape so that was just an easy way to get the same pattern on both sides pretty sure there's a process video for this one too this is another Kelly stamps um page here with a multiple color um, multiple stamped repeat pattern which are one of my favorites. I love it and it goes perfectly with these photos um, as does these funny little letters. They're a really cute alpha um, and just a really fun happy page. It's so so summery. It makes me sad. <laughs> um, can't wait to get back to these warmer ice cream days. This was a page uh, I did as part of a Traveller's Notebook Challenge for Citrus Twist um, using numbered journaling, which is one of my favourite techniques for journaling. Um, obviously journaling doesn't happen an awful lot uh, because I struggle with how to tell stories. So uh, using numbered journaling lists like this is one of my favourite ways to actually journal uh, because it gives me a really... Um, a really easy format to follow for how to get those stories written so this was a really fun page and nice to get Shane in here as well this was just a little filler page because as I'm working through these notebooks I don't work back to front um, 
so the pages in here aren't chronological. They're all over the show really and that's mostly to make it easier for me to film for you guys. I try to keep the book as flat as possible but it does mean that I often end up with odd little pages like this. So this was a page um, that it was going to be too hard to um, to film in. There's a sequin pocket under here which makes stamping almost impossible. So this is a little filler page that I got this idea from Retro Hip Mama and I think she got the idea from Shannon Noel I think um, just to use up ephemera and die cuts and um, it works perfectly for these filler pages for me. There is no purpose to this. Um, I posted a couple of these pages on Instagram I think and I uh, had a couple of questions about what for. This is really just a filler page. I could easily have just done, like just stuck these two pages together instead, but this way I get a pretty pink page. Uh, I get to use up some of these die cuts because I have boxes and boxes and boxes of them um, instead of just sticking the page together. This was a page I had done for Kelly Stamps. Uh, I can't remember the name of the alpha, uh, but I did just this fun filler page with sequins, these really pretty sequins in it, and it did this sort of six stripe so that in the middle here you could see the title from the other side come through. And I ended up um, using this sort of scrap piece. I covered up some journaling. I had handwritten some journaling in here. And I didn't love how it looked, so I decided to type. So I typed out my journaling instead, and then I stitched around the edge, and then I just ran the same ink pads that I used for the title around the outside, just so instead of looking like it was a cover-up, it looks more like it's sort of purposefully there. And then the only other thing I did was add a couple of sequins to both sides, as well as these tiny little lemon slice stickers which I think they're I want to say they're an a Amy Tangerine sticker um which would make sense wouldn't it but um I can't guarantee that but overall I really love how this page turned out this was another page for Citrus Twist using one of their add-on kits I think from February <laughs> I can't be sure to be honest it might even be March uh but I used a specialty paper from Heidi Swap. It's like a die cut paper, but I used it as a stencil to put some embossing paste. Is that what it's called? Embossing paste uh, onto vellum instead of using it as a paper. You could easily have cut the paper and added that into the insert as well, but I really loved this sort of opaqueness of this page. So that was a fun page, and I'm pretty sure there's a process video for that one too. This was a page that I did for Citrus Twist uh, for scrapbooking, National, International Scrapbook Day. One of their challenges was to create a page using a pocket, which is what I did here. I used uh, one of their digital stamps to create this little pocket in here, which hides my photo and my journaling. So it's not, um, not necessarily a technique I would use again. I kind of like having my photos on display, but um, certainly for hiding the journaling, that is um, that is a pretty fun way to do it. This was a page I did back in uh, March, I think. Just a little note to myself. Um, using a whole bunch of different stamp sets, I think from Citrus Twist. Uh, and lots of alpha stamps and I still really love this page. I love what it means to me and I love I just love how it looks Here's another little page I did. There's no process video for this one. I cut out um, a cut file from Paige Evans and created a stencil and then I used um, it's gonna be really hard to see. I used three different colors of ink mixed in with some embossing paste and added that to the stencil. So I did make my own stencil. Paige is now selling 6x6 stencils, which would be um, would have been really handy for this page. But as you can see, easy enough to make your own. They just, um, they're sort of a one-time use thing. Um, by the time you've 
put your mixed media over the top of it. The paper isn't particularly sturdy to use multiple times, but it is doable. And this was another cut file that I used, just a partial. It had a whole, a whole star and I just added a line to the side of it so that it would fit on my Travelist notebook page. This was a stamp for Kelly Stamps way back in April, March, Easter, the Easter edition anyway. Um, the perfect excuse for some chocolate eggs is, some, um, is an Easter page. And this was a fun repeat stamping that I did using one of the chocolate sets from there. Uh, and I love how that looks with the multiple colours. I had just used the photo as inspiration and pulled the colours of ink um, from within the photo. So I wouldn't normally have picked orange, but um, it worked really nicely with the colours in the photo. And then I used my fuse tool again to create a little pocket for my 3x4 photo and the card and then sprinkled some sequins in here as well. There is no, there's no process video for this one but I did redo a similar one and that's in the other notebook so just to show people how I had actually put the um, the photo in the middle of my pocket page and I love how that looks. I've, it's a technique I've done many many times before. This was a page I did for um, a Kelly Stamps challenge for International Scrapbook Day 2, I think, using the All Heart collection, which I super love. Love how this page came out. It was nice to get these little furries in here. Um, and I do love that collection. There's a few other bits and pieces just from my stash of die cuts and ephemera there and a whole bunch of Kelly Stamp. Um, stuck in there as well but um, that's a pretty page and I loved the sketch for this page um, and I've used it a couple of times since too because it's just a really beautiful design. Another Kelly stamps page and another gold foil digital stamp page. Uh, this was just to highlight all of the food photos that I take. There are a lot of food photos on my camera roll. Um, and here's what you can see. You can see why I work um, throughout the book because although I, don't, I think there was a video for this book, uh, for this page, I don't know, but you can see how hard it is to keep the book flat um, once the front of it's filled up. So that's why I work throughout there. But again, another super simple page with this really pretty um, digital stamp. And then there's three regular stamps, three rolls of washi tape, and that's it. So you don't actually need a lot of supplies to make fun pages in your Travelist notebooks. Here's another couple of these die, uh, die cut pages, ephemera pages. Uh, again, just because I'm at the back of my book, it's almost impossible to work in. Uh, this was really easy just to uh, stick these die cuts in here in uh, monochromatic order. And the pocket, I uh, was going to put another page in here, but I just quite liked the transparent elements. So I added a couple of mini envelopes that I had sitting on my desk. This one was a leftover from one of my pink paisley um, scrapbook layouts and it worked nicely with the green behind it so I stuck that on that side and I just added one that had a little bit of blue on this side. I have glued them on but I wasn't sure how well the glue was going to stick to the pocket so I did add a couple of tiny staples, tiny attacher staples in here to make sure that this never disappears. So that's it. That's the end of the notebook. I don't generally tend to do anything on the back here because it's almost impossible at this point. Uh, but this is this is it. I, um, I actually really love this notebook. So you can see here this is the middle. So when I pulled the cover off I didn't actually take the other staples out. Um, I just pulled the cover off it and then added the new one on with some extra staples using that same tutorial that I used to make my notebooks with the um, just punching the staples out, po um, poking holes with a needle and putting the staples back through. But you could easily stitch a new cover on as well. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you have enjoyed and um, I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.